Welcome back to Fire to Fork. Now, I recorded a video last week and I recorded it in a spot that I actually, it turns out, wasn't supposed to be. I just thought I was in the middle of the bush, found a beautiful spot and thought, wicked, hit record and I thought I found the jackpot. I was later informed by a sort of relatively well-known guy in the Kimberley uh, who really knows his shit that um, I wasn't supposed to be there. It was, it was actually a walking trail. Now. No one made me take the video down, no one made me take the photos down, but I think that too many people at the moment are leaving videos up and photos up that get lots of likes and lots of views. I mean, actually that photo that I took was the most popular photo I've ever put up on Instagram. Um, but I took it all down because I don't want to encourage people to do the wrong thing. I want to try and set a good example. Now, I had a bloody good meal that night and I don't want everyone to miss out and to be honest, any excuse will do to make that meal again. So tonight, I found another awesome location and I've got, I'm gonna make that same awesome meal again. Uh, and I'm gonna try my same style. If you haven't seen the video already, which a lot of you haven't, uh, what I'm trying to do this time is um, relax the kind of whole style of the thing and basically cut less out uh, have a little bit more of the scenery, a little bit more of the bullshit and banter and um, stuff that I usually have in my videos that I cut out. I mean, in my videos I cut breaths out because I get so impatient watching other people's videos. But look, I'm going to try a more relaxed style and let's see how it goes. So, um, let's have a look around today's location. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So as you can see, uh, round two of filming this, not shit. It is absolutely stunning. Now, I have an admission to make. Sam is actually there. She's right there behind the camera. Um, a lot lower than the camera because she's very small. Uh, Sam can't really be in the, photo, in the videos anymore. Uh, and the reason for that is basically she's been getting recognized by patients and it just changes the whole dynamic of the thing. Um, it's a just doesn't quite work uh, for giving good treatment, like when you've got someone who rocks up and all they want to talk about is campsites and cooking. Um, so it's really unfortunate. I know you all love Sam, um, and she would love to be in the videos, but we've got to do the right thing by her career. Uh, so unfortunately, she'll be here she will taste, she'll, you'll get a little bit of stuff, but she can't go and have 16 wines and banter with me on camera anymore. Sorry. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's make some bloody food. So, first water call, let's make some pasta water. Now, uh, a lot of people say, you need to make the water as salty as the sea, and that's a load of bullshit. So, don't make it as salty as the sea. Uh, 10 grams of salt per litre, I believe, is the correct like, ratio. But I just make it pretty salty, and that seems to do the job. So, whack a bit of salt in there. Bit of water. And bang that guy on the heat. Step two, pancetta. 
Now, you can use bacon if you can't get your hands on some pancetta, um, or get some guanciale. If you're feeling really fancy, we live in Broome, we can't get guanciale. Guanciale is basically uh, like the, uh, the cheek, and it is very fatty, very tasty, but the reality is it's all bacon. Like, it's all done the same way. So get some bacon, get some uh, pancetta, whatever you can get. I finally managed to get some pancetta. I couldn't get it in the last video, so it should be good. This is 500 grams of pancetta. There you go. So into sort of, you know, blocks. There's a heap of fat on there, so you're gonna have to render this for quite a long time and cook it right down. Uh, you will not need oil if your like, cooking vessel is seasoned or if it's non-stick or whatever. Uh, that is going to produce so much oil that we're actually going to have excess. So bang that on the heat and drop stuff in the process. Helps a lot. As usual, everything I cook with, everything I use, whatever, Description below has links to everything because otherwise I answer 10,000 bloody messages. Um, yeah, and cheapest option. I, I look up the cheapest option and I give you that link. So go there. Maybe I should leave a hand washing in this one. Might satisfy some bloody YouTube comments. It's really boring though, isn't it? watching me wash my hands. Scalabba dub dub. Scalabba. Maybe I should throw some raw chicken and like get Fred to lick my hands or something. Yeah. <laughs> Just f with people. Next. All right. Uh, that pasta water is hot now, so let's add pasta to it. Sweet. Okay, get that. Now, unfortunately, as Sam is here, I was gonna use good pasta, but I instead I have to use gluten-free pasta. Um, I recommend using the best pasta you can buy in a spaghetti, oh, bloody hell. Um, the best spaghetti style pasta you can buy. Um, uh, if you can get it fresh, hell if you want to make it yourself, if you're a psycho, uh, do that. Making spaghetti is insanely hard. Hey bud, what are you doing? Do you want some gluten free pasta? No, it tastes shit, doesn't it? I gotta say, as far as gluten free things go, pasta is by far the best. Like, as in, things that didn't used to be gluten-free, they made gluten-free. Pasta is definitely one area they're winning. Um, I genuinely, I generally prefer, prefer <laughs> I generally prefer to buy things that are naturally gluten-free and not have a whole bunch of shit put in them to make them gluten-free. Anyway, that guy can go on the heat. Oh yeah, don't bloody break your pasta in half. It's shit. Stupid. Long, beautiful strands of pasta are delicious. Short strands are shit. Just stir the pancetta and it's it's amazing. If you're cooking bacon, it doesn't take very long. If you're cooking pancetta, you have to wait till all those big chunks of fat melt or render, whatever word you want to, want to use. Now, let's make a bloody sauce. <sighs> Bowl, eggs, uh, parmesan, parmesan, slicery, jigger, cracked pepper, Fred, all important. So, three eggs. 
you will need four in total. Three. Four. Now, with egg number four, you are going to want to stand over the dirt in a campsite that isn't populated, drip it on top of your dog's head. Oh, 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 there we go. And piss that egg white off. Yep. And that's one egg yolk. Or, save that egg white, make cocktails, bloody delicious. Now, yeah, Fred's clean that up. Basically green piece over here. Uh, now I need to grate up 120 grams of parmesan. It's best if you spill it all over your tailgate so that people who are clean freaks get angry. That really works. Uh, get a fork. Give them a bit of a stir. Oh, I chuck some pepper in. Ugh, shit on my hands. Poorly wash your hands. And then pepper, which is freaking nearly out. I have a refill, but. Friggin' awesome. It's like half cheese, half um, egg, which is pretty much perfect. If you think putting cream and mushrooms into pasta makes you carbonara, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Neither do I actually, because that's spilling over over there. But um, still, cream and mushrooms do not belong in carbonara. I'm still breaking a rule in this recipe. You'll find out later. And people will cry in Italian all day. But um, cream and, and mushrooms definitely do not belong. That one's actually a little bit hot. Shit. All right. So that's done. The pasta slightly stuck to the bottom of the pan. I'm going to blame the gluten freeness because all gluten free pasta is shit. Nothing to do with my cooking abilities. I actually love these little pots. Oh, because they have um, little drain holes. That water will be cold in the floor in seconds. Oh! Nearly lost it. We're good. Now, don't drain 100% all the water in it, like out of it. You need a little bit in there. The pancetta looks, there's only one word for it, incredible. Uh, it's slightly too fatty, so I'm gonna just drain a tiny bit of this onto the fire without becoming the human torch. So let's see how that goes. Cool. I probably only drained a tablespoon out, so it um, cheered the fire up a bit, but didn't kill me. Now, pasta into there. Now, if you're trying to work out how, to, how well to cook pasta, um, I find the trick is taste it. Don't throw it at the wall and stupid shit like that. Just taste it. All right, that's mixed. Sort of. This is still pretty hot, not crazy hot. I think we are good. Oh, actually, I'm gonna make some Italians cry now. Oh shit, where's a little bit? Get my little bitty for the garlic crusher. Well, basically the anti-crust crusher. So two cloves of garlic. They're really small cloves, so I'm using three. <coughs> Crush those guys in there. And yes, I'm aware, that's raw garlic. But like everything else in this, it's very hot. It's going to cook. And I actually far prefer the flavor and smell of raw garlic to cooked garlic. 
So, um, yeah, don't stress about that. All right. All the cheesy, eggy goodness. Now, stir this fast. Don't bugger around. You, otherwise, you will end up with pasta and scrambled eggs, and no one wants that. Oh my god, the smell is insane. Okay, well that looks ridiculous. Lee good. That can go there. And I'll get some bowls. Okay, I need two bowls and one wife. Wife. She's not dead. Are they going to be able to hear me? Yeah, they'll be able to hear. Yeah. So oh you... my god, that looks amazing. <laughs> oh, stop it. So you wrap this guy. Oh. Well, if you have not gluten-free pasta, you like wrap it around a fork yeah. and make it sexy, but it's gluten-free pasta, so just oh. throw that shit in there however you can. That looks so good. All right. You should feel bad that you don't get to try this. Yeah, you should, actually. Yeah. I normally wouldn't yeah, say that, but you definitely yeah. should. It's, yeah. This is really good. Okay. Wow. Wow. Um, so. A couple of forks. Yeah, a couple of forks, a bit of parsley, and you're not allowed to try any yet because, as you know, the reality of YouTube is we need to do some sexy B-roll. Mm. So enjoy that. Oh, this is flat leaf parsley. That and we're then we make. also need to take some pictures of the food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what position B-roll is. I don't know. Um, it doesn't sound very appealing though, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's A? Like. <laughs> oh, oh my God. All right. Let's you can't eat it before I get to. Shut up. Fair. All right. I cooked it. Whatever. Um, all right. Sexy shots coming up. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, hold on. Wait. We need like a little, uh, little scrape of parmesan over the top. I didn't actually have in the B-roll. My goodness. But trust me. I just want to eat it so much. Come on. Oh. Mmm. Whoa. That pancetta. It's intense. It's so good. I know you said that you could use bacon. Do yourself a favor and get pancetta. That is mm. ridiculous. It's like. Mmm. It's so. It's a bit smoky mm. in a great way. It's, oh. it's a lot more robust. Robust, yeah. Mm. It's, a, it's a really full flavoured carbonara. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And it's creamy. Uh, yeah. Silky. But it's also mm. not super heavy. It doesn't have that gluggy, mm. creamy mm. uh, flavour to it. Which Absolutely. if you use too many egg yolks, you'll get. Um, um, I'm mm. leaving you for this pasta. Mm. Mm. Yep. Yep. That's it. Mm. Yep. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Mm. Um, it is better with normal pasta. Mm. This is the second best I've made. The best was the last one I made, mm -hmm. which had real pasta. Yes. Um, which I'm sure you can understand. But this is bloody good. Mm. Mm. Thanks for cleaning up, Fred. Mm. Mm. Thanks, mate. What would we do without you? Mm. Holy shit. All right. Well, you should try this. We're going to go mm. over there to our seat, sit down, crank the fire up, and enjoy the rest of the evening. And eat a whole lot of pasta. Eat a shitload of pasta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Mmm. It's so fucking good. Mm.
Mm. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? I'm not here. <laughs> I'm lost. lost. I'm literally, I can't say anything. Yeah. Cool.